Hey guys, Nate Jansen with CMB Operations, and I'm standing here with an 8RX410 equipped with the brand new Exact Rate tractor tanks. So if we look back here, you're gonna see the Exact Rate tanks on top of this tractor. These are factory installed, allows for 1,000 gallons of, of product to be stored on the tractor itself. Now we equip this with a planter that has the Exact Rate fluid transfer system, giving us a total capacity of 1,600 gallons, which is industry exclusive, largest in class. Now what we do with these tanks, this allows us to hold product on the tractor, transfer it to the tank on the planter, and then ultimately be able to apply liquid fertilizer at higher rates, and ultimately get that down to the ground, get it to where the seed can use it. With a total combined capacity of 1,600 gallons, if I'm applying 20 gallons an acre of a 28 or 32% liquid nitrogen, that allows me to get a whole 80 acres planted without refills in between, both seed and fertilizer combined. Let's take a quick tour around the tractor and we'll show you some of the features. Now when we talk about the exact rate tractor tank setup, there's a couple features that we need to make sure that we talk about. First of those being this connection we have on the back of our three point that's mounted here. Now this connection point is designed to be a transfer spot to our planner. The exact rate system is set up so that we hold capacity, uh, so that we hold fluid on the tractor. And as we need more demand back on the planner, we take the tanks on here and we fill up the tank that's back on the planner. Now when I order a model year 22 planner, that's going to come with a 600 gallon tank capacity. Combined with our 1,000 gallons up on the tractor here, that gives us 1,600 gallons total. And what we'll do is take and transfer the fluid from here and move that fertilizer back to the tank on the tractor. To make that connection, we have a, a hookup here. We're using a Banjo Dry Mate valve setup. With our planner equipped with the fluid transfer system, I could simply mate it up here, and then that connection point will be made, allowing me to transfer product in between. From here, I can also fill the machine I uh, fill my tanks up here. There is also an option for a front fill on the tractor itself, utilizing a two inch uh, cam locked front fill setup. Other general features we look at on our exact rate uh, tanks here, we've got our integrated three point raise and lower and also our PTO switch, just like a machine that doesn't have the tanks would have. We've just integrated that and our tail lights uh, into the whole frame itself. So we, we don't lose that ability. The other thing that's really important is, is actually when we look at keeping a narrow profile going down the road, some of the other third party companies, uh, primarily on like wheel machines, if we add saddle tanks, it adds a lot to the width. On this machine with the integrated tanks, we maintain the same width and even a little bit narrower than what our tracks are. The tractor we're sitting here with today has a 24 inch belts on it, and we're just inside by about two to three inches uh, in terms of overall width. So those are things that are, are really important to keep mindful of. Now, if we take a closer look inside of the Xactorate tractor tank system, uh, here's where our plumbing is gonna be located. We've got a tank fill valve down here. Uh, there's two positions for it. Right now, in the horizontal position, it's in a transfer or offboarding position. So we're taking product from our tanks. This is going to allow us to pump it back to our tank on our planner. Now, if we move this to the upper position, this is now in the onboarding or the loading position. So whether I'm using a front fill or I can fill off of my back cam locks back here, that allows me to fill the tanks on the tractor without pushing product all the way through the line back to the planter. Now, if we take a look inside the side panel here, it's held in place by a retaining bolt. So inside our side panel, here we have a hydraulically driven pump and our plumbing, which allows for rinsing and agitation. If we look at our plumbing here, our top line is to enable our rinse system and our bottom line there is to run agitation. Now these are both have valves on them, so they're adjustable. Uh, so we just have to, so we just have to come down here and, and make adjustments depending on how aggressive we want to agitate our product. Down lower here, we see our solution pump. Again, a hydraulically driven pump. Uh, it is important to note that the exact rate tank system does require a separate SCV. Now this is all installed from the factory. So all the plumbing, all the hydraulics are installed and the hydraulic lines actually come up here and have a bracket that they hold on to uh, up here in the top center of the hydraulic stack. So we connect our SCVs inside the cab, then we set our flow level and set it in detent, and that'll allow us to transfer product. We can shut it down at will as well. Now, if we take a closer look underneath of the tractor, one of the things that's important to note is that there is a skid plate protecting the entire Xactory tractor tank system. We've got plumbing that connects the left and the right hand side of the tank so they unload evenly. 
We also have valves underneath allowing us to turn on or turn off one side of the tank at a time. The exact right tanks have a tank level indicator on the outside here on the back. It also has a digital indicator which provides gallons left in the tank inside the cab. Now if we go around to the front of the machine, we're going to see that there's a step on both the left and the right hand side which allows us easy access into our exact rate tanks. We hop up the steps, there's a lid on both sides, and there's also another gauge here showing us fluid level. We take our lid off, Inside, we get a little bit of view of what the exact rate tanks look like. Now, they do circle the axle, so it's not a tank you're going to take off and put back on regularly, but rather leave installed. Inside of the tanks, you'll also notice that there are jets here, allowing for quick and easy rinsing. Inside on our display, we can easily see fluid level by going into our exact rate tractor tank app. That's going to show total fluid level left in the tanks based on the digital gauge attached to both tanks. One thing that's important to note on the exact rate tractor tanks, because we're utilizing all the space in between the tracks and also lowering our ground clearance a little bit, we need to be aware of the overall height that's available for this machine to run in standing crop. Now if we look at our overall height here, it's going to lower it down to about 18 and a quarter inches ground clearance to the bottom tube. Or in the case of our tank frame, it's going to be about 21 and three quarter inches worth of clearance. Comparing that to our drawbar height at the very bottom, which typically will straddle a row depending on your row spacing, which is going to be about 17 and one eighth inches. So a little bit higher than what the drawbar would be, but also utilizing the space, again, that's directly in between where a row would go. That's a quick walk around to the 8RX with exact rate tractor tank setup, 1,000 gallons of carrying capacity while minimizing our ground contact with our track system. Available on 18 and 24 inch tracks, spaced at 120 inches for model year 22 and will be available for retrofits on select 8RX models in the future. With CMB Operations, I'm Nate Jansen, committed to being your dealer of choice.